One week after his acceptance of defeat, Gambian President Yahya Jama now says the election was rigged and the vote should be repeated. I hereby announce to you, Gambians, my total rejection of the election results and thereby annulling the elections in its entirety. And until we go back, we will go back to the polls because I want to make sure that every Gambian has voted. The announcement drew prompt condemnation from the U.S. government and defiance from the president-elect. The ongoing president has no constitutional authority to reject the result of the election and order for fresh election to be held. The IEC is the only competent authority to announce the results of election and declare a winner. It was already done so, and I am now the president-elect. Barrow has called on his supporters to remain calm and to prepare for his inauguration in January. And he wants Jam to allow a smooth transfer of power. I urge him to change his current position and accept the verdict of the people in good faith for the sake of the Gambia, our homeland. Jama is a former military officer who has ruled the Gambia for 22 years. During his time in office, political opponents have disappeared or have been thrown in jail without trial. The country has suffered from economic and political isolation. Jama has won all the previous elections his government organized. So it surprised many around the world when he conceded defeat last week in the recent election. His rival Adam Barrow won 45.5% of the vote, while he got 36.7%. It depends on your calendar. You are the president elect now. I'm the outgoing president. So you give us time. For his and, people uh, and those who know him, and, uh, pictures of him on the phone congratulating his rival looked promising. I will never rule this country without your mandate since we started elections. And I will never cheat or dispute the elections because this is the most transparent, rig-proof elections in the whole world. Too good to be true was perhaps how Gambians really felt at the time, but they had suppressed it in the hope they might be wrong. They took to the streets to celebrate what appeared to be one of the most peaceful transitions of power in Africa. But with Jamma now rejecting the very same results he accepted last week, uncertainty and despair will likely return. His move is seen as a possible reaction to demands by some in the opposition that he should be tried for crimes he may have committed while in power. Perhaps more than ever before, the Gambia is on the brink of a dangerous phase of its modern history. Mohamed Val, Al Jazeera.